righty, we're back here at Universal. Yes, really excited. We've, yep, been, invited we've been invited out invited. to come hang out for the day today. So we're gonna go see what we can accomplish together here at Universal. Yeah, I'm gonna give my best shot to do it. I we're know gonna it's see gonna be you loud. with your change in abilities, what we yep. can do here today. So join us as we head in. Okay, here we go. <laughs> Alrighty, we flipped a coin and we are starting our day at Universal Studios. And it's loud. It's very loud here in City Walk for Ed. It's not too busy out here, but it is loud. And we're gonna see how Ed fares today. Alrighty, we got our tickets. We're in the park here. We stepped off to the side, somewhere quiet, to sunblock up and give Ed a minute. And we even got your disability services pass set up for the day. Yeah. So nice thing while we were getting our tickets, we were able to chat with them and get Ed set up. Basically, he has the you know disability pass here at Universal for the day. We yep. also have Express Pass Unlimited that was provided to us. So a combination of both. The nice thing about the disability pass is they did check off that if Ed wants to use elevators in lieu of stairs, he can do that. Yeah and places I can go and find some shade or and or sounds. Cause yep, to quiet areas. Yeah, that's hard for me now. Just imagine, as distracting as the sound is to the average person, it's tenfold on you. Oh yeah, and it stinks, but it's whatever, you know. But we're gonna try to have fun, so let's yeah. go figure out what we wanna do first. We're super excited to be here today. Yay! Oh, I hear roller coaster screams. Uh, I don't do those. Uh, no, maybe no. not today. <laughs> Alrighty, I offered Ed to do Minion Mayhem behind us. One of the things that we're testing out today is, you know, that multi-sensory stuff for you. You're feeling no to the big screen things today. I'm not a big fan of them anyway, just personally. I, but, you know, it's a depth perception because I can't see out of the side. That's right. If, for those of you who are joining us new, Ed, you know, does have right side visual field loss. So all those visual gags and tricks sometimes have a different effect on him now after all this. Yeah, but you can go on things. I can. And yeah. maybe we'll just wander towards like, I don't know, E.T.? That I can do. Yeah, we like that. Yeah. turn we ended up in Hollywood I've been there we have that's true but we're gonna go check out the tribute store that's always a fun adventure to head in there who are we giving a tribute to I don't know we got to go to the store to find out Alrighty, Ed and I have been hit by the lightheaded hunger bug. Is it cute? It, I mean, I, it might be. I am. But in any case, so we're gonna head over. We just did a mobile order from Krusty Burger, and we're gonna go get our lunch to eat, and then come back and visit with ET. I can't see myself. There I am. Alrighty. Ed and I have grabbed our seat outside Moe's, Cletus Chicken Shack, and the Quickie Mart to have our crusty burgers. It's gonna be very healthy. It looks healthy. Look at all that sauce and friedness. Delicious. <laughs> no, Ed, it's too early to have a drink. Well, they're not alcoholic. They can be. Oh. But I think you're supposed to wait 30 minutes after eating before you drink. Is that how that works? Yeah, so let's go digest on ET. We're deep in the forest. We gotta go find our bicycle to go help ET save this planet. Oh. Will you help ET? I will certainly try. All I'll right. do my best. <laughs> ET's in trouble. I do love ET.
at your stupidity. <laughs> the only way to get out of here is to help us attack Springfield. Aim your craft at your fellow humans. You will like it. We do. <laughs> Prisoners, don't you feel foolish? <laughs> the only way to earn your freedom is to help us attack Springfield. Aim your craft at your friends oh, yeah. and neighbors. You know you now that Ed successfully helped Kang and Kodos destroy the universe, I'm enlisting him to help me save the universe as a man in black. Oh, that's a good idea. So now that we helped the aliens, let's go shoot them. So one of the things that we made sure to do this morning when we got here is check in with the disability services. So Ed has access to elevators because one of the hardest things for him is... Yeah, I have a lot of problems with depth. I can't really sense how far away things are anymore. So stairs are a challenge with people oh, all around yeah. you. Yep. So if you talk to the team members at guest services, they will make sure that you have any accommodations you need, including telling you how to find the elevator. I always win that ride because I listen to directions like when to press the red button. I press it the whole time. No, you were firing your little pistol. I, I actually... Pew, 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 pew. <laughs> and something we interestingly just learned when we were, you know, using the elevator and everything, there are larger lockers to be used if you have medical bags and equipment and things like that. Because one of the things is when we have extra stuff with us on different weather days for Ed, it doesn't always easily fit in the lockers. Granted, there's typically two of us then, so we'll split it. But if you let them know you have a medical bag and things, they do have lockers set aside for a purpose like that. So I just learned that today. The more you know. Yeah. And now that we've safely returned to this universe, I guess we never left, we just went to outer space, who knows? But we're here in London, so nothing better to do than head to King's Cross to catch a train. Yeah, because we, there's a lot. There's a ton to do at both parks. Both parks. And we've only been great. in one so far today, so time to park hop via magical train. Ooh. Magically like that from London to Hogsmeade. Yay! That was the shortest trip I've ever done. I didn't know the train ran that route. Magic. 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 Well, that is something new that I might have to go check out. Oh, yes, no, indeed. Oh, yes. No thanks. No, it's closed. It's closed. And this is where I part with Ed. 
Yeah, I want to be far, far away. <laughs> right? Yep. Yeah. All right. Jason is going on this very scary ride. I'm saying far, far away. I don't like that kind of stuff. But it's supposed to be really cool. roller coaster I can think of in existence right now. No thanks. I've been here for a long time and people are screaming their minds. No. It is it is intense. It is so much fun. I'm pretty sure you didn't even need a seat because you were not in it most of the time. Oh good. Oh yeah no no no. The seat's just there to like hold you along to the train as it moves. That was unbelievable and the storyline as to why the roller coasters here is great. So next time you're gonna have to come with me just to the lockers so you can at least see what, what the reason is that it's here. Yeah, that's gonna happen. It's smart. <laughs> I think that's gonna do it for our day here at Universal. Yeah. That was I'm, a fun day, your stamina running out after a couple of hours. Well, it's a lot from zero to nothing, but I really will say thank you because I know what this means for you. Oh yeah, and a huge thank you to Universal for having us out today and for accommodating us with disability requests and helping yeah. us along the way. It has been an amazing day of team member experiences, getting to ride some new rides like VelociCoaster and getting to ease back into the world here in Orlando. Yeah, I know. You're so happy. Look at the smile on it. Because I'm watching VelociCoaster behind us and listening to Hulk. <laughs> it makes me happy. So yeah. that was our vacation day for today. Back to the real world. But again, huge thank you, Universal Orlando. It was yeah. a great day out here. Thank you so much. Thank you.